Okay. Привет, ребята. Вот я сейчас спрашиваю американцев, что они думают по поводу событий на Украине. Вот у нас Бил, и он работает в МСА, это такое место, где занимаются. Джейн, ты хочешь показать? Он работает в МСА, он менеджер. Он здесь главный по лучше как менеджер. И вот я его спрашиваю, знаете ли вы, что происходит на Украине? The way it's represented to us is that it's kind of a standoff that the government and the people are like on opposite sides of a line and it's in they're looking at each other. Hey, Bill, do you know what they're fighting about? I mean, does the news in this country really give you a sense of, like, what it's all about? The, the story that, it, that comes to us is that the government that's in place now is bad. People are fighting for freedom. The story that came to us is that the government is bad. People are fighting for freedom. So the uh, rebels or the freedom fighters are being characterized as fighting for the good, and the government is being characterized generally as being oppressive and is uh, trying to keep people from having their freedom. Hey, Bill, one last question. One last question for you. Do you believe in this country? Do you believe the news? I know that's a personal question. You might get a hundred different answers. But when you hear the news, are you getting one side or do you think you're getting a fair, a fair analysis? No. I, I, hang on one sec. I, I would say that fair is not the right word. Are we, are we getting the true story? I believe that what we're getting is a story, but I think that we're a little skeptical that we're getting the real story. Hello, hello. You half of half half pug. Half, what is it again? Half pug, half bulldog. Napoleon wow. bulldog, Napoleon pug. Cool. Do you know what's happening in Ukraine? No. No. No idea. No idea. <laughs> you watch news? Nope. No. <laughs> That's good. That's easy. I don't care. <laughs> Он говорит, мне все равно. Я говорю, ты знаешь, что про... знаете, что происходит на Украине? Говорит, нет. Я говорю, а новости смотрите? Он говорит, нет. Мне все равно. Вот так. Леди, just want to ask you a question. Do you know what's going on in Ukraine? Do you know what's... We know that there's a horrible revolution in Ukraine. Она знает, что там ужасная революция. And our news is doing a very poor job of covering it. И наши новости очень плохо это дело освещают. And I know a lot of us are looking to international news sites to make sure that we're updated and we know what atrocities are happening over there. Она говорит, что многие смотрят на интернациональные сайты, посмотрите страницы, потому что наши новости, она говорит, американские очень плохо это дело освещают. Супер, thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Thanks so much. No, it's ridiculous. I was on CNN the other day, the homepage. Yeah. And okay, it, because they really started covering it the day that Justin Bieber got this there. This guy was saying the same thing. CNN nightmare. What, Nothing. What? They had it on the homepage for about five minutes, and then they got news of Justin Bieber getting arrested. And it was on um, for the entire day. Um, I had to like Al Jazeera. BBC was hardly covering it. Yeah, it you're right. Perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Good luck. Thanks so much. No, what I'm going to say. Justin Bieber покрыли, а осветили, а Украина буквально пять минут и все. Она говорит, ужасно, надо идти на интернациональные сайты, чтобы что-то выудить, какую-то какую информацию. Ну вот, люди все-таки есть умные, понимают. Ну, это уже, уже радует. Ты on. So, hi, we're in, still in the YMCA, and this is a fitness guide, exercise center, right? Он, короче говоря, он занимается спортом в этом же центре и, в общем, ну, помогает людям заниматься спортом. And I just want to ask a question about him. Did you hear the news? What's, what's happening in Ukraine? I have seen some headlines uh, about what's happening in Ukraine, but I don't know much more about it. Он слышал, что что-то происходит, но он не знает точно, что происходит. So, is there a revolution or is there anything at all? 
What do you hear? I mean, I've, I've, heard, I've heard some things about protests and things like that, but I haven't heard, I haven't heard many details. Um, like I said, I've only seen headlines. I've seen CNN clips, and that's, uh, that's about it. Just things I've checked in the morning news. Он слышал некоторые headlines, это какие-то броски, заголовки CNN немножко, но конкретно он ничего не знает. Я даже спросила что-нибудь насчет революции, что-нибудь какое-то пламя, что-то горит, он говорит, я не в курсе, я не знаю. So do you know what's in Ukraine? Where, where is it? Uh, yeah, I have, a, I have a pretty good idea. Uh, where is it? Uh, is it? Uh, yeah, I think it's. Uh, Come closer, please. I'm trying to think of some neighboring, some neighboring countries. Is it Europe? Is it Europe? Well, it's like Eastern Europe, right? Eastern Europe. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. And is it near Russia or near Poland or near Belarus or near? Uh, Russia, I, I would think it's. Я говорю, вы думаете, это около России, около Беларуси, Польши, где? Yeah, да, он думает, да, где-то около Германии, может быть, Укра Украины и России. That's, that's correct. Anyway. Hey, hey, look, one question. Sure. With all those headlines you've been looking at, is there anything that stands out as like what they might be arguing about that, that stands in your mind? Uh, no, I haven't, I haven't really seen what the, what the basis of the argument is. Он спросил вообще приблизительно, хотя бы вы в курсе? Ваши... Запомнили вы вообще, о чем вообще там, ну, вся эта борьба и ваши ну, headlines? Он говорит, нет, не в курсе и не знает. Окей. Okay. Thank you right. so much. I think there's some concern with the ties with the current leader to perhaps Vladimir Putin and concern over uh, almost a dictatorship. Они думают, что украинский лидер практически как диктатор, диктаторшип. Это как диктатор. And uh, I think the younger people have a much better sense of wanting freedom. И он думает, что молодые люди у них больше понимания о свободе, и они хотят свободы. Я спрашиваю, знаете ли вы вообще где Украина? Do you know what's Ukraine? That's a country, right? Country, yeah. Where is it approximately? Is it Europe or Russia? Or Russia? Good job. Do you know what's going on in Ukraine? What's what's happening this day? He says rioting, it is значит protest, protests, right? Anything else? Any, have you heard on the news anything else? They fight for freedom like they did 200 years ago. Он говорит, они воюют за freedom, freedom это свобода, как 200 лет назад, это правильно. Okay, any, any, do you see CNN at all? Nothing? I don't really watch the news, you know, but okay. I just heard about it, really. No problem. Perfect, that's it. Thank you so oh, much. No problem. It's just very stagnant news. Very. Sure. The internet helps. Uh, no, I think the internet's worse internet. right now. I think if you go out and get the New York Times yeah. and the Washington Post, you get a much I like better the BBC view. for that because you can go online and yes. get the BBC. Yes. And and like like there there so. Is there a, a, there any, yes? No. Is there a chance that could she ask you that same question? Just video you? Sure. Thank you. Going on in, in, in Ukraine. I ask him, do you know what's happening in Ukraine? I do not. Он не знает, к сожалению. So where do you get your news usually? Uh, TV uh, or uh, internet? Uh, the internet right now. Обычно and, он and по интернету. CNN, and that used по CNN. To be such a good source. И раньше, раньше по CNN он получал очень хорошую много информации. And now this But is not. But no, now, now it just seems biased and very stagnant. И сейчас он говорит. News, mm -hmm. and it's just you go through it and it's just not changing it. And maybe they're trying to change it where you have to pay for your news again, oh, which is probably a good idea. Oh, I see. Well, that's a good point. <laughs> any, yeah. any Thank you so much. Any countries that you think you get a, a, a fairer world view from? Well, I do like the BBC. Думаешь, the BBC. I do like the BBC, I but, but I don't know how fair they, they are because they seem что? biased in their own interests, interest. but at least you get mm -hmm. a different point of view, mm -hmm. which, which is good. Human shield coming through. Woo. Guys, do you know what's going on in Ukraine? What? Have you guys heard anything about what's going on over in Ukraine? I know, I know you don't like it. Yeah. No. Do you guys know where that is? No idea? No. No problems. I know where it is, I just haven't heard it. Он знает, где Украина находится, но он ничего не знает. Rioting and stuff for freedom over there and uh, having a revolution. Он говорит, там почти революция началась. Знаешь ли? I think I might have heard something about it. Okay, он говорит, может быть, я что-то слышал. What do you hear? Isn't it because of the new president? Yeah. yeah. Right, он говорит, это по поводу нового президента? So you heard something, yeah. but not exactly. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Super. Thank you so much. Thank you. В общем, слышал, что-то слышал, а что конкретно не знает. Ну хоть хоть что-то и то ладно. Вот я вернулась домой после моего опроса. Как видите, на улицах есть и, как говорит Задорнов, и тупые американцы, 
которые даже не знают, где Украина находится, а есть и умные, толковые молодые люди. Какая-то девушка, я думаю, таких тысячи молодых людей, думающих, которые понимают, что Украине нужно все-таки идти вперед, не останавливаться, интегрироваться с Европой и идти вперед в цивилизацию. Назад пути нет. Ну, подписывайтесь на канал, если какие-то есть вопросы, предложения, о чем еще поговорить, поспрашивайте американцев, я с удовольствием это сделаю. Ставьте лайки, всегда очень приятно. Ну, вот и все. Вперед, Украина! Майдан! Победа будет за вами! Всего хорошего, мы вас любим!